Mr. Kelvin Town, was answering nature's call in Osaka's Legoland Discovery Center on January 1st when he started to get dizzy and his vision blurred. I was in a confined space, and my vision started to blur while I was seated. Said the 32-year-old business owner, who is holidaying in Osaka with his wife, 31, and 4-year-old son. I suspected that there was an earthquake right away as it reminded me of how we would feel the tremors in Singapore when there were quakes in Indonesia. The first thing on his mind was to leave the place with his family. His wife told him to carry his son and run. Mr. Tan said, the staff at Legoland Discovery Center were calm and guided us to exit pubs. We did not understand Japanese, so we could only follow the crowd. At least 48 people were killed after a powerful earthquake struck Japan on New Year's Day. With a magnitude of 7. 6 and its epicenter in Ishikawa Prefecture, the quake destroyed buildings, knocked out power to thousands of homes, and prompted residents in coastal areas to head to higher ground as tsunami waves hit Japan's west coast. The Japan Meteorological Agency JMA has issued tsunami warnings for the prefectures of Ishikawa, Niigata and Toyama. A bright yellow message that read tsunami. Evacuate flashed across television screens to advise residents in specific areas near the coast to immediately leave. Videos circulating online captured the chaos, houses collapsing, intermittent power outages and shaking signboards in train stations. Thousands of army personnel, firefighters and police officers from across the country have been dispatched to the worst heat area in the Noto Peninsula in Ishikawa Prefecture. However, rescue efforts have been hindered by badly damaged and blocked roads, and the authorities say they are finding it difficult to assess the full extent of the fallout. Mr. Tan An online content creator, known as Medio, has been in Japan since December 28, and was planning to stay till January 5. He had begun his holiday at Kanape Highlands in Hugo Prefecture before heading to Kyoto, which is to the east of Hugo, on December 30 and then Osaka, where he experienced the tremors. Osaka is about 455 kilometers from Noto Peninsula. At the moment, the plan is to continue our plans in Osaka, but should the situation worsen, we will definitely be flying out. Mr. Tan said, adding that his next stop is Jeju in South Korea. While unaffected by the quake, other Singaporeans in Japan are also taking precautions and making changes to their plans. Nanyang Technological University student Justin Yeo, 23, has been in Tokyo since December 29 and was planning to head to Konozawa on January 4. Konozawa, the capital of Ishikawa, has reported damage to homes and roads following the quake. Mr. Yeo said, I was supposed to go from Tokyo to Nagano and then to Konozawa, but looking at the map, I would be essentially moving west towards the earthquake. He added, For now, I will be extending my stay in Tokyo for two more nights. Mr. Yeo, who is traveling alone, added that he did not feel any tremors in Tokyo. A Singaporean, who wanted to be known only as Miss Lee, said she has cancelled her trip to Kyoto, which is about 345 kilometers away from Noto, due to the tsunami advisory. She and her husband have been in Japan since December 24 and had planned to head to Kyoto on January 3. They were in their hotel in Osaka when the quake happened and first heard about it through Singapore news outlets and when friends sent text messages asking if they were okay. They tuned into local news outlets to understand more about the quake and decided to remain in Osaka. Miss Lee said, We did not want to take any chances even though we were not going to the coastal region of Kyoto. We did not want to be distracted over having to worry about our safety when we are there or have our families worry. On Facebook group Singaporeans Travelling to Japan Planning and Discussion 
Some members were concerned about how the quake would affect their upcoming trip. Most, who commented, were positive about the situation, with some saying that they would not cancel their trips as they expect the tremors to die down after a few days. One user, Shuya Wang, advised those travelling to Japan to get travel insurance, register with Singapore's Ministry of Foreign Affairs before departure, and to take note of emergency exits at their hotels. Singapore's Ministry of Foreign Affairs MFA said, the Singapore government extends its condolences to Japan and the families affected by the Ishikawa earthquake. It added that there were no reports of Singaporeans affected by the quake. And it has contacted all citizens who have registered online and are in earthquake-affected areas or where tsunami warnings have been issued. In view of possible aftershocks, Singaporeans in Japan are advised to defer travel to the affected regions, remain vigilant, take all necessary precautions for their personal safety and heed the instructions of the local authorities. It added, Singaporeans who are in Japan or are travelling there are advised to register with MFA. Those who need consular assistance can contact the Singapore Embassy in Tokyo or the 24-hour MFA duty office.